So this is just a follow-up video uh, regarding the white flash issue that I was experiencing before that was occurring between objects when you would move the camera quickly. And I just want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for uh, blessing me to find a really cool uh, and simple solution. So uh, basically, um, if you go to your project settings here, you can see that there is this, uh, if you search for call, you can see that there is this occlusion calling setting. Now, if you turn this off, it disables hardware occlusion calling, and it does fix the issue. However, it means that it's globally disabled, so it's never going to happen anywhere uh, in your game. It's just turned off. And uh, I didn't really think that that was great, although maybe for some types of games it actually can work fine. Uh, but for um, general usage, this thing's on by default. So I wondered, well, is there a way you can just kind of turn this off temporarily and yes you can so if you go um, uh, and create a new blueprint in this case I created a blueprint from uh, a trigger box a parent class so if you just go to uh, blueprints blueprint class and you search for trigger you will uh, you can see this one this is one I use trigger box and uh, so basically uh, what I have inside there is a very simple setup it's just uh, after, after the event actor begin overlap, I'm just simply getting the player character and checking to see if the overlapping actor is the player character. And if it is, then we want to execute this console command. And the console command is r.allowocclusionqueries space zero, which means it turns it off. And then after you exit the trigger box, so on end overlap, or again, we're just doing that check again. Um, and then we are executing the opposite console command, which is r dot allow occlusion queries space one. So that turns it back on again. So uh, you can see this happening if I um, uh, press the tilde key to bring up the console command, and I'm going to just paste in this um, uh, particular console command, which you, which I actually get from the Unreal Engine documentation here, which is r dot visualize occluded primitives space one so um, what that does paste it in here is it uh, shows little green boxes for anything that's being occluded so uh, I if I go into the game here you can see all these green boxes are showing items that are hidden or items that are not being rendered because they're being occluded by other items so as I enter my little volume here because I, I put the uh, trigger box sort of in this area around this underground chamber so as I walk into the underground chamber it triggers the box and boom you can see all those green uh, visualized uh, occluded primitives have now disappeared meaning that they're no longer occluded so they're actually being rendered so all of those things are actually being rendered and um, you're not experiencing any of that uh, white flashing occurring anymore because there's nothing that's been occluded. So uh, this is a really, really uh, cool solution to solve that problem. Now you think, well, oh, that, now that's not so good though, because now all your uh, occlusion has been turned off. But it's only for hardware occlusion. It's still using uh, view frustrum culling. So uh, that means anything outside of the camera's view is being culled. And we can demonstrate this by. Uh, executing another console command here which is going to be freeze rendering and so now it's frozen the rendering and so now if I turn around here you can see that all the items behind me uh, is no longer visible those items are no longer visible the objects have been uh, called and that's because they were outside of the cameras view frustum and so this uh, uh, still is working really good so it's it's basically gotten rid of things that I couldn't see and um, basically the only thing that it had turned off was the um, the occlusion uh, calling so I think that's really great and um, I hope this this uh, little tip helps someone there is one other thing that I should mention and that is um, if you are uh, building your level and you want to save on draw calls you can use the um, emerge actors tool and the merge actors tool will allow you 
to uh, combine meshes together and so you will reduce your draw calls and you also reduce the the problem with the occlusion uh, calling uh, because now the object is not going to be if it's all merged together as one item it's not going to be occluding itself and so uh, that is another way of solving the issue but at this point because I'm working on still building the level out and I didn't want to merge everything together or merge certain items together um, using this this uh, workaround was uh, really cool um, and it uh, it's very convenient because you can control it with a trigger box so I hope that helps someone and uh, thanks for watching